Hello all, Kerala Public Service Commission had invited application uh, for the post of Inspector of Factories and Boilers Grade 2 for the, the Department Factories and Boilers with a scale pay, scale pay of 55,200 to 1,15,300 with anticipatory vacancy of 2. So the basic qualification uh, which they had asked was degree in Mechanical Engineering and the last date publication was 2021. So basically we are expecting an examination somewhere in 2022 and uh, the number of vacancies though it is mentioned 2 will be varying from 5 to 10. Now the uh, this is basically the website of the uh, Department of Factories and Boilers. You can get uh, the details about uh, the functioning officers and uh, other uh, things from this website. So previously Kerala PSC had conducted uh, had invited application in 2015 and uh, the examination was conducted in 2016 and uh, the, they had basically advised around 7 people. The first time holder got around 67.33 marks out of 100 with the interview marks of 13 and uh, total accounting for around 80.33 and the, uh, the the last rank or uh, basically the last rank in the main list there was also supplementary list main list uh, the candidate got around 52 marks so uh, with the 10 marks in the interview and total of around 62.33 so yeah so welcome to my youtube channel Megan. so my plan is to solve all the questions of those of questions which were asked in 2016 step by step one by one if you have any queries, you may please uh, send email to megyan2021 at gmail.com. Let's move on to question number one. Question number one. A steel bar 10 mm by 10 mm cross section is subjected to an axial tensile load 20 kN. Length of the bar 1 meter, length mode 200 GPA. What is the elongation of the bar? We know that uh, elongation of the bar is given by delta L equal to PL by AE. So here P is the load that is, this is the steel bar. Quickly uh, let me draw. Subjected to 20 kN. So load is 20, 20 into 10 cube newton. Length is uh, 1 meter. 1 meter uh, by area of cross section is 10 cross 10. Let us convert it into meter. So 10 raised to minus 3 into 10 raised to minus 3. P, so PL by A into E. E is 200 giga Pascal, kilo mega giga, 10 raised to 9. So on solving this, we get uh, it is equal to 1 by 1000, that is equal to 1 mm. So here the option A is the right answer. Now, question number two. The modulus of rigidity G and Poisson's ratio mu of a material are 80 and 0.3 respectively. Its Young's modulus is. We know that the expression for Young's modulus is E equal to connecting Young's modulus and rigidity modulus is E is equal to 2G into 1 plus mu substitute it 2 into uh, 80 into 1 plus 0 0.3 on solving this we will get what 208 GPA so option answer is option B now question number the equivalent torque on a shaft when it is subjected to bending moment M and twisting moment T the expression for equivalent torque is equal to T equivalent is equal to root of m square plus t square is very important similarly expression for equivalent bending moment is half into m plus root of m square plus t square so here in the question equivalent torque is asked the answer is option b now let's move on to question number four if the the value of poisson's ratio is zero so here mu equal to 0 mu definition of mu is uh, lateral strain by uh, longitudinal strain longitudinal strain mu is 0 
so lateral strain is high that is wrong option material is perfectly plastic that is also wrong no linear strain that is also wrong the option is d answer is d 4d now question number five the outside diameter of a hollow shaft is twice its inside diameter outside diameter is twice of the in inside diameter of a hollow shaft uh, the ratio of its torque that is t hollow ratio of its torque carrying capacity to that of a solid shaft that is t hollow by t solid is asked so we know that t hollow by t solid uh, the expression for uh, torsion equation from torsion equation we have t by j equal to tau by r r we can write d by 2 j we can write it is pi d raised to 4 by 32 therefore uh, t of solid is uh, t of hollow by uh, t uh, t of solid is pi d cube from here pi d 1 d cancel pi d cube by 16 into 2 similarly so t hollow by t solid we can write it as uh, d o raised to 4 minus d i raised to 4 by uh, d o raised to 4 so t hollow by t solid that is equal to uh, taking d d 0 raised to 4 outside and cancelling it we get 1 minus 1 by 2 whole raised to 4 that is equal to 15 by 16 and it's also a standard question of most of the uh, a competitive exam they generally ask t hollow by t is solid they can directly without even doing you can write it as 15 by 16 now question number six two shafts are made up of same material diameter of the first uh, is twice that of the second d1 so let's try it d1 equal to twice that of the uh, second the ratio of power which can be uh, transmitted the question is basically wrong it should be d2 equal to twice d1 now power we know that power is equal to t omega also uh, from torsion equation we know that torque is proportional to d cube so that is uh, that is power is proportional to d cube so t1 by p2 is equal to d1 by d2 the whole cube d1 by d2 that is d1 by 1 by 2 the whole cube that is equal to 1 by 8 so the option should be c 6c the solid shaft is subject question number 7 a solid shaft is subjected to a bending moment and a twisting moment bending moment m is 3 twisting moment is 4 the equivalent bending moment so earlier in the earlier question we have seen that equivalent bending moment is half into m plus root of m square plus t square that is uh, substituting half into uh, equivalent with 3 plus root of 3 square plus 4 square that is equal to half into 3 plus 5 8 by 2 is equal to 4 so question number 7 the option answer is a so let's move on to question number 8 the buckling load is maximum for a column if four options are given one end of the column is fixed another end is free uh, both ends of the column are hinged uh, both ends of the column are fixed one end of the column is hinged and other end is free so buckling load also known as crippling load is given by pi square ei by l equivalent equivalent square now this l equivalent is equal to 12 for um, uh, one end fixed, one end fixed and other end is free. So L equivalent is equal to L by 2, L by 2 for uh, both fixed. Now this L equivalent is equal to L by root 2 for one, one end fixed and one end hinged, other end is hinged and uh, L equivalent is equal to L for both ends hinged both hinged so this is very important now the buckling load is maximum we have asked so if l equivalent is equal to uh, uh, l by 2 say if l by 2 l by 2 if we put this 2 square will become 
2 will go to 2 square will go to uh, numerator and it will become 4 times uh, pi square ei by l square so the option uh, is c both ends fixed so say here one end of the column is fixed and other end is free that is l equivalent is equal to 2l if we put the it will be 1 1 by 4 that is it will come in denominator now both ends fixed means this 2l l equal to l by 2 this 2 will go to numerator and becomes 4 times l equal to l by root 2 means it is 1 by root 2 whole square 1 by root 2 whole square that is 1 by 2 that it is only it will be only be 2 times and l equal to l equal n mean it will be the same so the they have asked maximum so maximum is both ends of the column are fixed that is when l equal to l by 2 now the buckling load for a column for a column hinged at both ends hinged at both ends hinged it is y square a by l square is 15 so when when it is hinged it is given as 15 if the ends are fixed both ends fixed means it should be 4 times 15 so that is what we have uh, proved here 4 times here so option is a so two easy questions based on this formula is very important the Euler's load for a column is 1 mega newton and the crushing load is 1.5 mega newton now what is the Rankine's load now we have we know that the, there is a formula for calculating Rankine's load that is 1 by p load due to Rankine is equal to 1 by pc plus 1 by pe so the basically pc is the uh, crushing load that is equal to 1 by 1.5 plus PE is the oil area in 1 by 1 so 1 by 1.5 plus 1 by 1 is equal to 1 by PR and substituting this we get PR is equal to 0.6 mega Newton option should be answer B option B 10 the shape of a bending moment diagram BMD is the shape of a BMD bending moment diagram for a uniform cantilever beam carrying uniformly distributed load so first it is a cantilever so let's draw a cantilever now cantilever carrying udl udl should be like this udl w per unit meter now now what is the bending on diagram so first let's draw the shear force diagram shear force diagram will be somewhat like this so yes f d shear force diagram uh, shear force diagram will be like this we'll draw let's draw the bending on diagram and the shear force diagram this is linear when the shear force diagram is linear the bending moment diagram bmd will be one one order higher which will be parabolic parabolic the option is d steady flow occurs when steady flow means the flow does not change with time check for the option option a is velocity does not change that is wrong pressure does not change is wrong conditions change gradually with time is wrong conditions do not change with at with time at any point so study for means condition does not change with time option d is the answer no question number 13 the depth of center of pressure in a rectangular lamina is 3 meter deep fully immersed in a liquid having one side in line with a free surface so basically it's a rectangular lamina let me draw here so this is the rectangular lamina uh, depth is given as 3 meter here which is 3 meter um and having one side in line with the free surface what is the depth of center of pressure so center of gravity cg will be somewhere here center of pressure will be below that cp center of pressure so the expression for center of pressure for a rectangular lamina is 2 by 3 h where h is this depth so depth of immersion 2 by 3 into 3 so cancel cancel we get 2 meter option is c now let's move on to question number 14 the pressure pressure in meters of oil specific gravity 0.85 e equivalent to 85 meters of water is so pressure in meters of oil specific gravity is given as pressure in meters of oil so basically s1 times h1 is equal to s2 into h2 specific gravity of oil is 0.85 pressure in meters of oil they have asked so basically h1 they have asked oil uh, equivalent to 85 meters of water h2 is 85 so gravity of water is this so basically on substituting it we get 
h1 is equal to 100 meter now uh, question number uh, next question um, pressure in pascal at a depth of 1 meter below the free surface of water will be pressure in pascal pressure in pascal is given by pressure p equal to rho g h so we know that um, depth is 1 meter so it is 1 meter uh, density of water is um, 1000 into 9.81 into 1 so straight forward question 9810 pascal so option is option b 50 b